Good morning. This is Scott Cullen, editor in chief of the Canada Report. Friday morning here. It's time for Fridays with Frank. Hey, Frank, how you doing? I'm doing just fine, Scott. How about yourself? I am terrific. How so was your vacation? My vacation was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all over New England. So, well, it was, it, it was uh, an excellent vacation. It's great to be back and back to recording our latest episode. Okay. So uh, we actually have an email from one of our viewers, Chris Pollock of Pollock and Pollock who said he enjoyed the most recent episode of Fridays with Frank. And he has a question that he'd like to get your thoughts on. And he starts off by saying about four years ago, he attended a BPA webinar where part of the presentation discussed the number of independent dealers in the market. He said he believes the data was from Key Point Intelligence. So based on his notes, said in 1980, there were approximately 7,800 independent dealers. Early 90s, that figure dropped to 4,400. 2007, 3,000. And when he attended this presentation in July of 2017, they were talking about 2,100 dealers. So his question to you, along with continued acquisitions and the pandemic, where would you see the number of independent dealers now? What level of a number of independent dealers do you see that OEMs will be forced to consolidate? I've kicked it around with, with several companies, including some very, very good leasing companies. Um, and we seldom agree on the numbers. You know, it's, uh, I look at it strictly from a standpoint of the average lines per dealer. Because as you know, we monitor that number every year. So we have a pretty good number and we're getting, uh, and of course this most recent one, we got the best we ever had, 385 dealers, 2.3. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, Scott, I think it was 2.3 was the number for average lines. I'm, you know, I'm not that sounds sure. about right. Yeah, or thereabouts. It's always been there. You go, you go to the, uh, our number and you go 2.3 and you come out with the same numbers that the dealers give us on their, I mean, uh, excuse me, the manufacturers who mail our surveys, as you know, uh, claim that they send out and they, they pretty much are pretty consistent. So we always come up somewhere about, oh, I'm going to say a little bit light of what everybody else is saying. Based upon that as a thought process, I, I say that right now today there's somewhere around 1,600 viable dealer entities. So that would be, that would be my, my number. I know that if you were to uh, talk to leasing companies, they would tell you that number is higher they would be more in the 1800 area. So, you know, uh, I would tend to believe leasing companies before I believe me, to tell you the truth, because it's pretty, I mean, look, they're a bank, you know, they know what they're dealing with in terms of the entity. So uh, I would say that's pretty much where it is today. But you know, Scott, what, what's going on during the pandemic has got to have crippled that number. Now I'm talking about when I say 1800, the last time I had a conversation with a very significant leasing company, uh, that's what uh, they shared with me. Uh, now, some of them, now bear in mind with leasing companies, some of them sell other types of dealers. So you got to be careful uh, with that. They could be selling in addition to our regular uh, copy of print uh, dealers. Uh, they could be selling uh, phone dealers uh, and dealers in that area. Uh, and there could be other, uh, other businesses that they're intertwined that with. But in terms of dealer entities selling MFP type products, 
it's got to be somewhere between 1600 and 1800. I can't see it any higher than 